Hello yogis, my name is Debbie Lash and I'm your yoga teacher for today. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Leave me some feedback or give me a thumbs up if you enjoy the class. Today's practice, short and sweet, 15 minutes, with a focus on high blood pressure, otherwise known as hypertension. Restriction to the arteries, to the heart, big contributor to this is stress and lifestyle. Yoga is definitely a way to reduce your high blood pressure um, and the poses I'm going to offer are going to be lovely and calming and gentle. Uh, you're going to need two blocks um, if you've got them, doesn't matter if you don't, maybe some books uh, and a bolster if you have it. And again, if you don't have a bolster, some pillows off the sofa will do, or some blankets. So I'm gonna start seated on my bolster today in a cross seated position. In Sukhasana, easy seat, and it's nice to be elevated. So the hips are in line with the knees, unless your body's really open. Sometimes when we're sitting like this, the knees are all the way up. So just elevate yourself. And when you're ready, just gently close the eyes down. And take a moment to arrive and land on your mat. And take a moment to honor yourself for showing up and taking care of your body by finding time to practice. Use this opportunity to check in with yourself. How do you feel? How does your physical body feel sitting here in Sukhasana? This is a supposedly easy seat, but you might have tension in the hips or sides of the feet. Maybe your shoulders are up around the ears, roll the shoulders down. I'm gonna drop into some pranayama, a very simple yet effective way to lower high blood pressure. Start inhaling for four counts. Exhale for four counts. Pause at the bottom. Inhale for four counts. We're gonna play with doubling the length of the exhale. So exhale for five. And count the breath in your own mind so you're going at your own pace. Inhale for four. Exhale for six. I like to visualize the breath moving up the front spine on the inhale for four. And then when I get to the top, I press the breath down the back spine. Exhale for seven all the way down. Pause at the bottom of the exhale. Inhale, front spine for four. Exhale, back spine for eight. So we've already doubled the length of the exhale. Some of you are gonna stay with four and eight because that feels perfect. Some of you are gonna inhale for five. And then exhale for 10, slowing the breath down. And understanding the more that we can breathe out, the more we can breathe in. Inhale, four or five. Exhale, eight or 10. And just stay with the breath, just like this. Some studies have proven that 15 minutes of breath work, just like this, every day can reduce your blood pressure by 40%. It's quite incredible. Last round, inhale. And exhale, 10.
Bring hands together at heart center, chin to chest. And let's set an intention, maybe bringing a little bit more peace and calmness, maybe to reduce anxiety, release stress. Blink the eyes open, inhale. And lift the gaze, exhale. Okay, so let's come up onto the hands and knees. You can put your blocks or bolsters to the side, spread the hands, spread the knees, shoulders over the wrist, drop the belly, inhale, heart lift. So you're pulling the heart forward as you breathe in, exhale, all around. Press through the feet, inhale, lift, exhale, all around. Good, three more just like this. You can go faster or slower. But the aim of this practice is cool and gentle and following the breath throughout the whole practice. Inhale, heart lift. Ready for your first downward facing dog. Tuck the toes under, walk the hands forward, up and back down. Now, if you've got tight hamstrings, bend the knees, take the feet wider, you could even bring your box on level one, and this feels pretty good. So it's just a bit more length in the arms. So actually, I can lengthen my down dog here. And when you feel ready, you're just gonna take five cycles of breath. At any point, you could drop your knees to the floor, and you could take a child's pose like this. Remember, we're looking for effortless ease. Maybe visualize breathing in through the palms of the hands, up the arms to the heart. And then press the breath down through the back spine, out through the legs, out through the feet. Your biceps are lifting up the side of the face. Inhale. Your triceps are rolling down. Exhale. Three more cycles of breath. One more here. And exhale here. Inhale, high tippy toes. Bend the knees. I'm just going to walk into the middle of the mat. And depending where your practice is, some of you are going to slide the blocks back with you. Some of you are just going to grab the elbows. And you can either keep your hands on the blocks if you're not feeling so balanced today. Otherwise, feet wider than hips distance, grab the elbows. Look all the way up between the thighs. Your belly is hugging in. There's a gentle rocking forwards and back. Maybe a little bend in the knees here. And when you're ready to change the clasp of the hands. So this is pose is called Uttanasana, the forward fold. So the forward folds are very calming to the nervous system. And we're just bowing and physically forwarding, forward bending ourselves. Our gaze is looking within. Two more cycles of breath. Effortless ease. Feel the ribs wide and then expand as you inhale. And narrow and retract as you exhale. Bring the hands on the hips. A little bend in the knees. Inhale around. And just step into the middle of the mat, step the feet wide apart, and grab your blocks. Absent. Inhale, so we're coming halfway. And then maybe stack the blocks here, two at a time, and bring the head onto the blocks. If you needed to make it higher, you could. And maybe you could take the feet wider. 
bring the hands on the hips. And just stay right here, squeeze the elbow heads in so your collarbones have got a smile, the shoulder heads are lifted. And this is a restorative pose with the head on the blocks. It's lovely, you don't even need to have the head on the blocks. But it just brings a central place for you to rest your head so the body doesn't have to work as hard. Most importantly, the heart doesn't have to work as hard. And just breathe in and out of the body nice and slow. Maybe you want to come back to the inhale for four counts or six counts. So you're also getting a really nice hamstring lengthener here. If there's any tightness in the hamstrings, just bend your knees and bring in a little effortless ease. Always trying to reduce and take the struggle out of the practice. And maybe you want to, you can take some blocks out. Two more cycles of breath. Calming the nervous system with these forward folds. It's also wonderful to balance your hormones in these poses. Inhale, lift the chest. Walk the feet together. Oh, I can really feel my hamstrings. Hands on the hips. Inhale, rise. And set to the top of the mat. Bend the knees. And lift the heels. And come all the way down. So, options for the blocks or the bolster here. I'm going to lower into a bridge pose. Inhale, lower down, vertebrae by vertebrae. Option one, if you've got blocks, you can bring it on level one under the sacrum. Level two, or level three. Remember, the height is not important. We just want a subtle lift in the heart, but if you've got the mobility in your hips and the back of the shoulders and the hamstrings, then of course be in level three. But if you're new to the practice, level one. And if you've got a bolster and no blocks, we're gonna do this. And make sure it's in the sacrum, which is a diamond shape, and it's not in the arch of your back. Roll the shoulders under, and this time visualize the breath coming in through the crown of the head, down the spine. Exhale the breath out through the legs, out through the feet. Stay just like this, inhaling. Super grounding to connect through the earth with the feet on the ground, exhale. Visualize the breath moving through the whole body, nourishing and healing every cell. Right, and you can either stay just like this, or we're going to move into the Pariti Karani. Legs in the air, like you just don't care, but we do care. So this is a very calming pose to the nervous system. So reducing anxiety and stress. The feet are above the heart space, so the heart doesn't have to work as hard in this pose. Maybe for this pose, we'll visualize the breath coming in through the palms of the hands. Think of the hands as an extension to your big, beautiful heart in there. And exhale. Stay with this, visualizing the breath coming in through the palms, up the arms to the heart. Exhaling the hands. And if you've got tight hips or tight hamstrings, just feel that you can bend the knees or keep the knees bent like this. 
again, we're always looking to take the struggle out of the practice. Meet yourself where your body is at. Every day we practice, the body feels different from the food we're eating, the water, the amount of water we get to drink or not, how much sleep we have, the stress we're under. When the mind is really busy, it's very hard to focus and breathe deeply. The mind will always keep trying to pull you out of the practice. Bring your knees, put the feet on the floor. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, lower down. Walk the feet together. Suit the Baddha Konasana. And left hand on the heart, right hand on the lower belly. Big toes pressing in. Inhale for six counts. And exhale for six counts. One more cycle like this. Inhale for six. Exhale for six. This is called Veloma, a three stage breath. It's one breath to the top, and we put in three pauses, one at the navel, one at the bottom of the sternum, one at the top. So, inhale for two counts. Pause. Inhale for another two counts. Pause. Inhale to the top. Pause. Exhale for six counts. Pause at the bottom of the exhale. Inhale for two. Pause. Inhale for another two. Pause. Inhale to the top. Pause. Exhale for six. Pause at the bottom. Inhale for two. Pause, inhale for another two. Pause, inhale to the top. Pause, exhale for six. Let's take one last round. Inhale for two. Pause, inhale for another two. Pause, inhale to the top. Pause, sip in a little bit more. Open the mouth, exhale. <sighs> Hands facing up alongside the body. Final resting pose. Shavasana. So just let go of the practice by letting go of the breath. And return to normal shallow breathing. surrender to the moment. encourage you to stay here in Shavasana and just take care of yourself. I was 
receive in your practice. Otherwise, I'm going to close out so start looking for your inhale. You can shut the screen down so you can hear my voice. Take the arms up and over the head as you breathe in. Maybe hook the thumbs, take a full body stretch. Inhale. Exhale here. Change the hook of the thumbs. Flex your feet. Inhale through the soles of the feet up the thighs. Open the mouth. Exhale. Draw the knees into the chest. Give yourself a nice squeeze in. And then roll to the side. Take a moment to pause before bringing yourself all the way up. And we're right back full circle where we started. Just close the eyes down. Notice the shift of energy. Notice the shift in your mindset. Notice the shift physically in your body. Most importantly, the connection to your conscious breath. Just feel all that magic in, hand to heart center. Chin to chest in gratitude. Shift the prayer to the third eye. Humbly bow to the same legs. care of yourself. Remember 15 minutes of conscious breathing every day can help lower your blood pressure by 40%.